All right, learning to ride and learning to ride the right way is very important for a lot of guys. Learning to ride on an easy to ride bike like these Hondas we have in this video. These are play bikes I call them or beginner bikes. Uh, the CRF 125F is what I'm on in this video. Showing you how to shift, clutch, gas, do all those things properly. It's really important to learn the proper way and how you can learn that is by simply watching this video. Hopefully it helps you out. Okay, this is a beginner riding video. So see our hands here. This is a, a CRF 125. We're in neutral. I put it in neutral now. You get a lot of guys, if you know how to ride a dirt bike already, you don't need to watch this video. But if you're a beginner, this is how you take off. This is going to be very similar. This bike's very easy to ride and so forth, but very similar to another bike. Downshift one here into first gear. And when you take off, you want to give it gas with this hand and letting out with your left hand, just like that, nice and smooth with both. And I just shifted up to second. Now I'm gonna do that again right here. I put it, I downshifted. We're gonna talk about different shifting techniques as well. So now I'm in first gear. Now let's talk about putting it in neutral real quick. I'm gonna put it in neutral, which is just a half a click up right there. And now I'm in neutral. I'm gonna pull it in, push it in first gear. I can, I can feel that I'm in. This is where a lot of people mess up is this, this. They give it not enough gas, they let it out real fast like this. And if you let it out like that, it'll die. You know, it won't, it won't uh, take off. So now I can start it again. And I'm gonna let it out nice and slow while I just ease the gas on. And now I wanna shift to second, because I'm already maxed out. So I'm gonna pull the clutch in and hit that shifter up at the same time. And just go like that. So now I'm just riding around. this nice grass field here and my hands aren't touching the clutch I don't have to touch the clutch at all right here in this case let me get it some gas now if we're coming to an obstacle here I can hit it down to first and then I'm gonna ease the gas on again and go right over Okay, so now I'm in second. Can I give it some more gas? I'm gonna shift up to third, just like that. Now, I get a lot of people asking about shifting without the clutch. They ask if it's okay on the bike, and it is okay. So at this point, what I'm gonna do, I'll show you, I'm just gonna downshift like that, downshift again. I didn't touch the clutch at all, now I'm in first gear. But every time you come to a stop, you gotta pull the clutch in, come to a stop so now I'm gonna let it out nice and easy again like this shift up to second now also we don't have when we're up shifting we don't have to have the clutch in you can just let off a hair of the gas while we're going so now I'm in second gear I'm gonna go fast and I just clicked it up I clicked it up to third without using the clutch now here, I can downshift it to first, and I downshift it into second. So I can downshift it like that. Okay, so now at this point right here, I think we're ready to go try some more aggressive maneuvers. Again, I just clicked up. I didn't touch the, the shifter here. We've had a few people write us and ask us about this. Now here's a really cool track. Mountain View. You're here for the Honda 250 intro. That age of here. So Okay, so now I'm gonna I just downshifted. Now let me show you what happens if you're I'm gonna be in too high a gear here. And I'm going, and what's gonna happen is you hear the motor it's gonna just die. Except these bikes are so good, it's hard to die. <laughs> it doesn't even want to. Let's take a look at Spencer here on the main track. Yeah, how fun is that? Okay. So now we're gonna ride this little track right here. I'm not positive which way this goes, but I think I'm going backwards right now. 
Okay, so I'm gonna click up the second. I'm not positive on this direction. Let's see here. Yeah, so it's gonna go like this. All right. So now we wanna pull that clutch in and we fan it. So fanning it is this right here. People are slipping the clutch. People have different terms for it. You're going to use it to modulate the power and get more power down. So I'm going to pull that clutch in and let it out like this. I think I'm going backwards. Oh, oh yeah. And I'm not much of a mini bike rider, so not a great gauge for this here. Okay, so at this point here, I'm gonna flip around on this track. So watch our hands. And trail riding, the clutch will be your friend a lot as well. So going down like this. Now, something like this, I really wanna use this clutch. Through this turn, I'm gonna fan it like that a little more power and it's gonna be the same thing on a big bike just exaggerated you hear the motor rev up and, you... and people worry that it's hard on the bike but that's what these bikes are for this isn't your car you know this isn't like your car where you have to worry about it they're made to be ridden hard so let that clutch out Okay, then we're going to come through here and stand that clutch. I think this track can actually go either way pretty well. But at this point here, we're going to... Go look for some other terrain to ride. I want to try to find like a hill climb. So we have our... I think we're in second gear right now. So we're gonna shift up to third. I didn't touch the shifter. I just jumped all those woods. So now on this hill, here's a gravel hill. I'm at a dead stop. And, and see, it's pretty steep up this hill. So this is where I got my finger on the, on the front brake. And I got my clutch pulled in and I'm gonna ease all this out at the same time now when you're learning it's hard not to do that and dig a hole where you're at okay now when I'm going through an obstacle I got my finger pulled on the clutch so I'm able to hold back that power while I'm kind of checking things out of like a, uh, a trail situation right here. That's what I would kind of call this equivalent to trail riding. So I'm going down this hill. I got my fingers on the brake here. And let's say I'm going to go up this section right here. This is like a trail. I'm going to fan that clutch, gas it up that. I might have just got poison oak right there. much you can be holding the clutch on it can be quite a bit just like that so at this point we got a let's say a little steep hill for somebody learning on I'm gonna 
crawl down here, got my finger on the brake, on the front brake. Just pop her down like that. I'm gonna just motor right up that, like that. There's Spencer on our track, getting after it. Okay, I think that's a pretty good little lesson on using your clutch and front brake. We'll do, we'll do one more section where we come up the hill. So right here we're going to be in a dead stop like this. Dead stop. Make sure I'm in first gear. I got my finger on the brake here. Ease it up. Gas, give it gas and clutch letting out at the same time. Just like that. Now if we're going down a steep hill, I would like to stand up and have more control with the rear brake with my foot, my toes, and I got my finger on the front brake and I'm able to ride down just like this. Okay, that's it. We've got a bunch of motocross guys out here. Riding around, having a good time. As you progress on your uh, riding and clutching, you can be like, like these guys. And do that right there. Okay, so let's head on back. <laughs> 